Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today I want to talk about the future of Halo toys and Halo collecting. So I have been reviewing these figures, which was formerly Wicked Cool Toys, on my channel since September of 2020. I've seen its inception from where they started to what we have now. Since that time there's been some great things and some not so great things. But all in all I would say this has been arguably the best Halo toys we've ever received. Technically, there are three scales to this line. There is a 12, 6, and 4 inch, but I've primarily reviewed the Spartan Collection and the World of Halo. The 12 inch seems to be more aimed towards like the younger crowd. Through the duration of this video, I will be referring to these two scales only since that's what I'm most familiar with and what I primarily collect. Out of the two, I would prefer our World of Halo 3.75. There is a lot of playability. Pretty much everything matches into scale, and there is even vehicles in this line. So you get all of that, an immense amount of characters, and everything is reasonably priced, which makes it a very attractive line for collectors. Now, don't get me wrong, I do enjoy the Spartan Collection, but I just prefer the World of Halo. Now, the Spartan Collection has had its issues, so in the beginning, the joints on Series 1 were super loose, but Jazzwares responded very professionally and they said, if you have a figure with loose joints, email us and we will send you a replacement. So they handled that really well, and it seems like everything has been fixed ever since then. One of the other issues we had was a change in the knees. So Series 1 and 2 had a great knee articulation, which was very fluid, and there wasn't like a deep cut within it. They then changed that within Series 3, and those knees were basically cut up into three segments instead of one long piece that just didn't look natural. They have since fixed that within Series 7 of the Spartan Collection, which we're still waiting to find in store. So all in all, that shows how awesome the team has been with being receptive to our constructive criticism and our comments on things that we want to see within this line. So as we know, the Achilles heel has been the availability for these figures. We missed an entire wave of Series 5 World of Halo in the States. Canada seemed to be the only place that received them. But that was addressed within a live interview from the team at Jazzwares and they said that we should be seeing Series 5 within the States at HEB, Fred Myers, and Walgreens. And let's not forget our friends in other countries who have retailers that do not stock these whatsoever, especially in the UK, I see y'all. But if you live in a different country and you want to see these figures, comment down below. I want your voices to be heard as well. So that leads me into why I'm creating this video. So I love the Halo franchise ever since Combat Evolved. Halo has been a big part of my life growing up. I thoroughly enjoyed Halo Infinite. It's not my favorite Halo game. I would say that title goes to Halo 3. But overall, I love the Halo franchise. Now this isn't like a scare video like the line is going away or anything like that because I don't feel like that's the case. I mean, for example, McFarlane had the license for like eight years. I just know there's been some uncertainty lately with the Halo franchise. For example, the delayed release with Halo Infinite, the Halo series maybe not performing as well as they would have hoped, and there's been some controversy that 343 Industries will no longer be making Halo games. They debunked that and they said we will still be making Halo games. So that can make a retailer nervous, like if a franchise isn't doing well, then you know, they're probably assuming that the rest of the line, t-shirts, toys, you know, other type of merch isn't going to perform well either. But I want to show that that's not the case, that there is a great demand for these figures now and moving forward. Because I genuinely love these figures. I mean, this video is not sponsored by Jazzwares, there's no affiliation whatsoever. I'm doing this on my own free will on my own time. But I know y'all are passionate about these figures just as much as I am, which is why I'm making this video, for your voice to be heard. So as you know, Jazzwares has done a fantastic job at listening to what we've said, constructive criticism, things that we would like to see, and I'm giving you an opportunity to let your voice be heard from not only Jazzwares, but hopefully other retailers as well. But please be respectful, no vulgar language or hateful comments. Let's address our wants as constructive and professional as possible. So let's start with what would you like to see more of in this Halo line? It could be within the world of Halo or the Spartan Collection or even both. Like, is there a particular Spartan or character you want to see made? Maybe even like a Build-A-Figure, but not in the sense where you need to buy six figures to make one figure, but essentially a blank canvas of a Spartan. Because I know there's a lot of people in the community that are customizers. They like to paint their own Spartans, they like to do their own washes, and even 3D print pieces. Now what about vehicles? We have some opportunities for some Banshees, some Wasps, maybe even some Old Covenant Ghosts. One of the things that I would love to see would be a full-size World of Halo Scorpion tank. And if they were to do that, it would be a considerable size. And I mean, honestly, I wouldn't mind paying 40, 50, maybe $60 for that thing, depending on how big it was and how good it looked. But I'd love to know, how much would you want to pay for a Scorpion tank? And would you be buying just one Scorpion tank or maybe buying a fleet of Scorpion tanks? Are you an army builder like myself or do you buy only one of a specific figure? 
What do you think of fan channels? So say Entertainment Earth, Big Bad Toy Store, how often do you shop at those and would you be willing to buy some of these figures at one of those sites? What about objective style packs? So something that has two capture the flags and maybe like an oddball skull with some flames on it. Within the Spartan collection, maybe we can see the Gravity Hammer, some Brutes, Sergeant Johnson. The world of Halo has done amazing with checkpoint sets that have pieces that can fill your terrain and your background. What do you think of those? Do you want to see more of them or less of them? Now what about the base plates? For me, I don't need one with every single figure. And there's probably a hundred different things that I could ask, but that is where you come in. So I want to know down below the things that you want to see, maybe the things you don't want to see, and the things that you really love about this line. And please be respectful in the comments. I want to see this be the best Halo line it could possibly be. But I want to say thank you so much for watching this video and joining me on this Halo journey. I know it's been some time since I uploaded a Halo review, but I haven't found any of the new waves yet, so nothing has surfaced. So I'm hoping that changes and we can start finding those soon. And be sure to find me on Instagram where I do toy photography, toy videos, toy hunts, toy deals, and all things toy related. Link in the description below. I post heavily on my stories when new things drop. I will see y'all in the next video and enjoy this display of my collection.